Hello everyone. So a super quick overview of Upwork client app. So in case you didn't know, Upwork has client app in case you want to hire freelancers or Upwork freelancer app, as you can see here, in case you are freelancer yourself and you want to be hired. So in, I will just do a quick overview of Upwork client app. So here is the app. This is how it looks like. I guess you just create an account on appwork.com or you can also create an account here. Uh, and this is how it looks like. So basically you need to have like a company, which is like your company profile. Uh, so you can edit all the names, your full name, your email, your company details, company contra uh, contact. And by the way, here you can also close your account if you don't want to in the very bottom. So that's that, uh, yeah, uh, here if you click on your profile in top left, you will see all these resources, you can see support, uh, and then if you tap on settings, uh, you can go to like again my info billing methods, so you can change that, change password, teams, so you can add people. Okay, uh, notification settings. member and permissions so probably you can uh, uh, invite new team members here uh, and then yeah privacy policy and stuff like that so then on the main uh, tab you have like freelancers so you can just search for specific people so just you can just tap search and whatever uh, you will see some suggestions, you will see a list of freelancers, you will see their hour rate, uh, you can like them, you can invite them to the job, uh, so something like that. You can go to their profile, so I would really suggest to not use some like general terms as I just did, like Photoshop, but uh, use some very specific. This way you can find probably some cheaper and high quality freelancers. So as you can see here, I'm also looking at like amount total earned, like of, okay, if it's like 70K plus total earned, it's a kind of a good quality freelancer. Uh, relevant work, all work history, and that stuff like that. Then you can just save it in the bottom left. Uh, then you can see all your past hires if which you hire it uh, and then yeah you can just uh, rehire them or invite them to job and then if you tap like you will see them in in saved uh, uh, column but for a start what where you need to start actually is just like create a job poster job so you can do it exactly from the app so you can, if you post a job, you can just do everything from here. So create a new job post, like short term or part time work, dedicated work. You can also reuse previous job posts. So it's a standard uh, process, the same as you do on website. So everything you can do from the app. Then you can see your current postings and you can see your contracts. So here in contracts, I have one uh, running contract at the moment. I can search contracts if you have many. You can filter them out. Uh, you can end contracts. Uh, you can post contract. You can increase rate and all that stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, you can see messages here on the third tab. So this is your communication. And then alerts, uh, okay, there are some issues, internet or something like that. So you will see your alerts notifications here. So super easy. So the most important tab is probably jobs, just like post, where to start. Just post a job, set your requirements, go through questions they require, do that, and then search for specific freelancers and invite them to a specific job. Uh, or just start chatting with them. So that's how I would do it. Uh, yeah, of course, there are much more advanced techniques and when you work more with Upwork. But this is basically an overview of your Upwork client app. So again, this is the app, an app when you want to hire freelancers, not to be freelancer yourself. If you want to be freelancer yourself, 
there is another app which is called like Upwork Freelancer. So that's that. Uh, thanks for watching.